Hello everyone, and welcome by popular demand to Prison Architect. That is right, for those of you that don't know, Prison Architect is a prison management and sort of general uh, people management sim where you design a prison and then have to deal with all the crap that goes down inside of it. Um, I put up a poll on Facebook, uh, on the Facebook page, asking what you guys would like to see next, and it was pretty much an even draw between Prison Architect and Kerbal Space Program. Also, uh, so we'll be doing both, I guess. Also, it is important to note that um, we are going to have a bit of a channel schedule reshuffle. It will be ARC coming out on Mondays, Prison Architect on Wednesdays, and Kerbal Space Program on Fridays. Uh, KSP will be coming out uh, this Friday, of course, and it will be modded, and then, of course, Prison Architect has come out today. Uh, we will be playing completely stock, no mods added, brand new vanilla playthrough. So, right off the bat, let's get started. Right off the bat, we're going to go ahead and select our prisoner gender, or should we say sex, and we'll be taking male prisoners primarily, simply because the female prisons are much more difficult to manage, and I'm not really a huge fan of micromanagement, so we're going to take care of male prisoners today, and that is simply because we are going to be holding war criminals, or that's how we're going to be treating them anyway, as the, the true scum of the world that they are. So, we need to choose our warden next. Now, each of your wardens has different um, playthrough effects. For example, there is the vanilla warden, the base guy. He's just pretty standard. People just call him the warden, you know? He's the most balanced individual on the planet. He does his job and nothing else. Then, of course, we have the lobbyist. He has friends in high places that make sure... Uh, the more easily controlled prisoners end up coming his way. It halves the likelihood of receiving prisoners who are violent, lethal, volatile, deadly, or fighters. Now we kind of want that, it'll make for a more interesting playthrough, so we won't be going with a lobbyist. Then of course we have Rita next, who is ruthless and terrifying. Rita has a reputation for running her facilities through judicial application of fear. Rumors of her carrying a whip may be exaggerated. Halves the likelihood of prisoners being stoical or fearless, She also and she also ensures that prisoners are suppressed twice as quickly. Um, maybe we'll be going with uh, Rita there. Then there's J.W. Periwinkle, who swears he was a sapper in the war. He never says which war specifically, but he certainly knows everything about digging tunnels. Guard dogs have a 50% chance of fully uncovering any tunnels they detect. And that is right, your prisoners will attempt to tunnel underneath your walls and get outside your prison. It's very annoying and very difficult to combat if you're not playing with um, J.W. Periwinkle, but that's alright. That's okay. Uh, I don't think we'll need that. We'll just have to do some routine searches. Um, then we have the pacifier, who is an unusual talent for being able to calm even the most violent individuals. Even being in the same room as him is enough to make people docile and compliant. It reduces the overall temperature of your prison, making your inmates less likely to cause trouble. And again, that leaves for somewhat for somewhat of a bland playthrough. Shusha will not be going with the pacifier. In fact, we shall instead be choosing... Uh, I think we're probably going to go with Rita, but let's have a look at Safara Aknova. She has a spotless reputation and a squeaky clean record, but behind the scenes shady deals under the table offerings are nothing uncommon for her. Gets a small cut of the resale value of each piece of contraband found. Okay, prisoners found with contraband will be fined directly from their savings. So you could say that she shares the wealth. Thank you, Safara Aknova, but I think we'll be taking on Rita. Just Rita. No surname there, of course. Um, we are also going to be playing on a large map, simply because these... Uh, I don't want to be buying, you know, edge territory just yet. It's, it's a, an unnecessary expense early on. We're going to be generating buildings. Why not? Uh, we'll generate some gangs, events, weather and temperature, and we'll be dealing with staff needs as well. Now, we won't be generating lakes because, as you can see, it still says warning experimental, despite the fact that I think this game has actually received its 1.0 release, as in a full release. It's no longer in alpha. But, uh, yeah, those are buggy, and there's no way to reclaim the land, so they, they, they kind of make it impossible to uh, actually play. So, let's go. So, as you can see here, here is our adorable little um, pixel map. And it's got a couple of trees, got some derelict old ruins, and here come our little workmen on the first truck. So we're going to hit spacebar to pause the game. Here are your time controls. Uh, there's the clock for the time of day. Uh, every day at midnight, you will receive the funds. Uh, well, over the day, you will receive the total number of funds there, and the day ends, of course, at midnight. Um, there you can see, if you click on that, you oh, I need an accountant to see the full report for finance. But if you click on it, you will see it. And then you can see, just in the descriptor, we have our money in and money out. So, there's our bank balance, the day we've been playing on, and then various to-do things. Um, right off the bat, we're going to want to click over here, or you can click up here on the uh, checklist option, I think. 
prison grating? Uh, you can click around there, not main menu, sorry. <laughs> We're just going to click here. And what I'm going to do is pause intake. So we are not going to be taking in any prisoners until we've done some planning. And then jobs, that's stuff that has to be done in the prison. And then, of course, there are grants. Uh, these are uh, things we can take out in order to make ourselves some more delicious, delicious money. So I think we are going to accept the basic detention center grant, which gives us 20k initial. And then, you know, we receive another 10k when it's completed. And there's the various objectives we have to complete. Build a holding cell. It's all shown over here. Then, of course, we are also going to, I think, accept the staff well-being initiative. And that's simply because, uh, basically, you want to get that done as soon on, as early on as possible, because doing it later in the game is much harder. All right, sorry, everybody, my phone went off there. I just had to deal with that quickly. I think let's go ahead and get planning. Now, we're going to hit pause, like I said, and we're going to bring up the foundations. And I want planning. Where is that again? Now I've got ah, planning under the tab that says planning. Look at that. Okay, so oh, right off the bat, what we can do is go ahead to rooms, right? And these are the various rooms uh, that um, in which things will happen in your prison. So we're going to want to go ahead and extend garbage here by a couple spaces. And we're going to extend deliveries up. Now, this is just for my OCD because I like having them 10 by 10 each. And then you're going to want to go ahead, of course, and place down a small exports bracket right there. Uh, that's, uh, what's that? Oh, 5 by 10, and then that's 5 by 5. Perfect. So, okay, perfect, perfect. And then, oh, actually, let's do this so there's a two-point space between them. Perfect. Perfect. I see nothing wrong with this. So, then what we're going to want to do is place down some... Oh, we can do it. We don't have to plan this. This one we can just place. Let's place down some, some harsh-looking concrete walls. Because I don't want this part of my prison accessible to my prisoners in any way, shape, or form. And we're going to just go ahead and place this there. And voila. And then we're going to go ahead and go to Objects. And throw down, you guessed it, a road gate. There we go. Okay, now that just means that our drop-off and pick-up section of our prison is completely enclosed. So let's uh, press R to rotate this large jail door, which takes up two slots. There we go, just to make sure that coming in and out of our prison is not particularly easy. And then we can, I think, we'll play some more walls. We don't need them to be indoors just yet. Yeah, those can come out this way. In fact, you know what we're going to do? We're going to cancel that, and we're going to throw down, because we're never going to need prisoners over here, we'll throw down a staff door right there. Oh, sorry. Like that. Yes, that's the plan. Awesome sauce. And then we'll just extend exports slightly. That's fine. It's okay if it's not perfect. Whatever. There we go. Why is there no... Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. So now that we've got that set up, we can build things over here, but we're going to want to go ahead and set up, of course, our reception for our prisoners. Our prisoners will need to be received when they enter the prison, and that can happen right here. So we're just going to throw down, the, ooh, sorry, not that one, we want a concrete foundation. Our prison will be stark and bland and generally, you know, unpleasant to the eye. There we go. So now this means that a foundation will be placed and then roofed and uh, that will be an interior section of the prison where all of this is exterior. You can only build interiors using con uh, buildings. <laughs> foundations, sorry. And you can disable auto lights if you would like to place them manually, but that's a lot of work and nah. Just nah. So let's go ahead and place a small corridor right here, off which we will spout our holding cell, our first one. There we go. Very nice, very nice. And then off that, we can have a small shower room, which we'll just stick on top. Right there. That should be fine. Okay, cool. Um, as you can see, when you place foundations next to each other, they merge into one. The game engine's quite clever about it. Or, however, they will be built in the order you place them, I believe. And they will not actually construct until you place down something like this. Uh, a large jail door, which allows access into the foundation. So then we can go place that. We'll place a jail door right there for the holding cell. And we'll place another door right there just so that those are done and we can place the walls for the shower. Cool, cool, cool. Then let's go ahead and we've still got $40,000. So that gives us a holding cell, a shower. We'll need a yard, a kitchen, a canteen, two guards and two cooks. So let's 
work out we can probably build something out of this because if we build on this you see we're going to save quite a bit of money that's a 19 by 21 is 790 7790 and a 19 by 21 wrong way 7500 whereas this was six seven nine seven seven it's more money why is that more money <laughs> i have no idea why that is more money that doesn't make any sense it used to be that it would be slightly cheaper if you built on those buildings um, oh well, uh, let's let's pretend like I, I know some. Uh, maybe it's more expensive because you now have to clear all the crap. That does look like asphalt, which uh, isn't really the best prison material. Perhaps if we build here, it'll be cheaper. Yeah, it's it's free to build there actually. That's cool. Noted. Alrighty, so that's that's in fact actually like some kind of shitty outdoor area. In that case, we're going to want to go ahead and place our first cell block. Um, well, actually, let's work out where we're going to place our utilities. That's right, you need to power and water your prison. Uh, so let's run a power cable up through there. And similarly, we will run a water pipe right from that point. And we're going to want small pipes all along the back wall of our shower. Just like that. We can always place more. Now, we will want a water boiler for the... Uh, yeah, we'll want a water boiler. What is this, concrete? Yeah, I think we'll... Build ourselves a little outer area. Oh, is that a... What is that? What is... What, what, am, what am I looking at here? Deselect. Stop. A notebook page. Ooh. Okay. That's new to the game. <laughs> I didn't know that was there. You've got little in-game collectibles now. That's pretty cool. So, let's... Uh, well, actually, we can hit... We can hit run. They can start doing this. That's fine with me. And uh, let's build ourselves a little outdoor area here. To house our utilities in fact actually let's place them first for spacing purposes so we'll throw down there we go a water pump and a power station yeah right there and we'll throw down some capacitors just to give it you can surround the entire thing with capacitors but i do not think it works if you put a second ring on you need another generator if you start hitting capacity in that regard so let's throw down this wall yeah right there perfect and we want one more space on the side for it. There we go. And voila. Okay, that may look a bit off-centered, but once this is surrounded by capacitors, it will look fine. Just fine. So, let's throw down a staff door. We do not want that to be prisoner accessible for obvious reasons. And we'll throw down another staff door uh, right up there on that side. Perfect. Now we can continue with our plumbing. We'll run a big old water pipe right to the water pump. And we're going to need to power the water pump as well as the base itself, so we can go in there. The base! The prison! It's a prison! And then, of course, we're going to want some hot water pipes. Um, we'll throw the boiler... Yeah, sure, right in here. And we'll run some hot water pipes right up along these ones. In fact, actually, I don't think we need... Uh, uh, whoops, I cancelled everything, but I don't think we actually need... Um, the... let's put that back. There we go. <laughs> I don't think we actually do need the, um, regular water pipes if we have hot water pipes running to showers. So, we're just gonna do that. If this doesn't make sense to you, it will soon once the showers have been installed and things. I'm just planning ahead. Okay, cool. So, that's that done. Now, we're still going to be in need of a kitchen and a canteen. Now, I'm tempted to have the kitchen and canteen be right over here. Um, we're gonna want the canteen near the deliveries. Uh, the kitchen, sorry, near the deliveries, or at least within reasonable walking distance of it, so that our staff don't have to go miles to get their new food. So I think we'll place our kitchen right over there. Yeah, and then our canteen can be a big old block right over here. And then we're going to want a two-point way to get a prison door leaving out, a large jail door, that is. Voila, and we'll have a double door system just for extra security. Perfect. We're going to want a staff door up top here for the kitchen. And we can place down some paving stone as such uh, to ensure speedy transport of all of our goods to and from the delivery area. So in actual fact, this, uh, <laughs> this, uh, this holding cell is very much in the way, but that's okay for now. Going to run this straight down. Voila. Just like this. In fact, I can run straight into here, at which point we will include a staff door. There we go, so they can run in and out and get the things they need to. Uh, actually, let's cancel that staff door, and we'll put one here, and make kind of like an airlock system. So we'll drop 
that. Uh, yeah, like that. And then we can throw down a staff door. I must remember to rotate them. This is not RimWorld. We've been playing a lot of recently. We'll do that eventually on the channel as well. There we go. And we have a bit of a, an exit and entrance point for our staff with two doors to get through, which will make it very difficult for the prisoners to deal with. Then just to ensure that our prison is still enclosed, we'll just place a fence around the edge there. Okay, nice. Now, let's put a fence there as well so that that's all contained. So, now we've got our canteen. Where else are we going to build? We need to place down our first storage or storage area, our first cell block, don't we? Yeah. Uh, we got 28,000, so we can spend a bit on this. Let's go ahead and drop... Hmm. We actually, we need to work out what size we want our basic cell to be. So we'll just take the base example because that is the best one to use. So that is 5 by 4 meters. So 4 tall, 5 wide. So we're going to want... Alright, so multiples of 5 along the base and multiples of 4 along the top. That's pretty doable. Uh, let's line it up with the edge of the structure. We can always expand it. So there we go. So we could have had five cells long there. All right. But actually, let's let's drop it one so we can have one underneath the entranceway there. Cool. And then we're going to want a multiple of five across. So something like that with two in between. So it'd be ten. And then with two point corridor, that's twelve. So a twenty-four. Uh, yeah. That looks. Let's make it twenty-six just to be safe. But I think putting nine five into our first cell block is absolutely fine. And then this will of course need a little shower area which we will build right next to the other utilities right here on top. Uh, let's just attach that. There we go, that can be a little shower area. And we'll run the plumbing for that as well now, just so I, otherwise I forget to do it, it's just a hassle. And we can actually run power all the way through our foundations now so that that gets done. Nice, just like that. And that can go all the way up into the shower room. And we can run a cable up here. Don't worry, lights will automatically connect off of this main cable, so you don't really have to worry about micromanaging those so much. Then let's run another pipe um, down here through this wall and up here into the shower. So we'll go in there behind the wall and put one all along the edges, just like that. And then have we got space for showers in the center? Yes, we do actually. So we can have another row of shower heads down the middle. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. And then we'll throw down, just so I remember my placement, a couple of doors here and there to enter and exit the shower. Okay, cool. So we have that room designated. Let's also just go ahead and place down some paving stone here to ensure speedy walking all the way along, because each tile has different walk speeds. Dirt is a slow walk speed, whereas paving stone is fast. So this will be slow, and this is a lot quicker. Nice. Okay, now... That looks like pretty much everything. We just need to set up a yard space, somewhere for them to go and hang out, catch some rays, chill out a bit in the sun, and I think we'll do that right over here. Yeah, I'm fine with that. So we're just going to take a fence. Uh, haha, we'll take offense. Got it. And <laughs> we're just going to throw down... Uh, actually, we don't need to wall that off. That's not necessary. Um, we're just going to go ahead and throw down the fence. Shall we say... Watch that. That's... 13 meters, 12 meters, yeah, 12 meters by 19, okay, that's fine. And then this will be, of course, accessible via a large double jail door. Um, we'll stick it right there on the edge so it doesn't intrude on our uh, cell block planning. Perfect. And then have we got the money for it? We technically do, but I want to save the money to fill out these spaces. So, now I think we're gonna call that... sped up. There we go. <laughs> uh, this first episode is running quite long. But let's go ahead and set up our reception. Voila. Oh, sorry. Place it there. And as you can see, this requires certain items. We'll need an office desk for our receptionist. Obviously. Uh, well, we need an office desk, a chair, and a table. So we'll throw down... Um, Let's throw down a table there and there, and that's where our prisoners will have their uh, confiscated items placed. And we'll throw down an office desk right here along the edge. We'll put it in the corner. There we go. Ah, uh, a chair over there. I wish you had center placeable chairs. Ah, uh, that would be so great. And that's pretty much all we need for that room. So, now, let's have a look here, and we're going to place our 
where we can place our interior walls uh, right along there for our shower. Perfect. And we're going to want to place down our shower heads. Nice. Just like that. In fact, actually, you know, we can space them like that to save a bit of cashola. And as you can see, pre-purchased things will remain in your inventory. There they are, just sort of, they just sort of spawn in if they're not brought in by truck. Depending on the urgency of the item, I guess. Then, uh, so we can go ahead and designate that as a sh shower. Voila. And we can designate this as our holding cell. Voila, and as you can see, they're getting crossed off as their um, requirements are being completed. Oh, we also need to power, I see, our... Uh, there we go, our boiler. Cool, cool, cool. Why is that not working for... Oh, is there no water connection in here? Hmm. Is this not linked up to the hot water somehow? Have I made a mistake? Let's try it that way. Let's place another one of those bad boys, see if that does it. Ah, huh. oh, there we go. Okay, we got working water. It just needed to be powered, that's all. Alright, so our holding cell requires a toilet and a bench, and that's pretty much it. Um, oh, and I see we're actually going to need to move this uh, jail door right up to the edge so that the holding cell doesn't think it's not enclosed. You can see there's these two cells of empty space. It needs to be pushed right up against there. That's fine. So we're going to need a couple of benches for our prisoners to chill on. Uh, we'll put one there, one there, and we're going to need a couple toilets. Now, for the sake of privacy, I think we'll be doing two toilets in the corners here with little walls surrounding them. So like that. There you go. Tiny little toilet stalls and cubicles. Perfect. And that's our holding cell done and dusted. We're also going to go ahead and throw in a weight bench. Uh, we'll throw that right over there for them to work out on. And you know what? They can go ahead and have a phone booth to call in all of the drugs they want. Uh, I'm such a kind warden, really. And then we're just going to need to run some water to the toilets, obviously. Not hot water. I think that might be slightly wasteful. And there we go. No, come on. There we go. All right. Nice. That's done. Okay, so we can go ahead and wall off this structure here and designate that as another shower just to get that done. Perfect. Let's go ahead and throw in our shower heads. Dun, 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 dun. This one will be putting quite a few in just so that uh, when we have to... There we go. Nice. And we're going to want some drains to stop the water flowing out of our prison and... Oh, flowing out into our prison, rather. Uh, just like that. And just in case these toilets break, we'll throw some drains in there, too. Okay, cool. So that will ensure that that shower is... Uh, why is none of this plugged into the electrical system? Oh, because I didn't connect it. Classic Miles. Okay, we'll run that up from the side there. Nice. That means that the water things are on a separate circuit, so if I want to switch them off, I can. In fact, we'll go ahead and uh, throw that there. So if we ever need to save power, we can quickly just switch off our water systems. They'll live, but keep our uh, power going so that CCTV and things like that in the future remain safe. Then we can go ahead and designate this as our yard, just to cross that off. Very nice, that's done. We can go ahead and throw down our kitchen space. Right over, yeah. Very cool. And our canteen space. Right over, yeah. Perfect. Then let's go ahead and... Ah, the lights are on. Beautiful. And we can throw in our walls. And we're going to want... Yeah, I'm going to put down a staff door for now. Eventually, you can get, you can train up your inmates to work in your um, kitchen as part of their reform progress. But for now, we're just... Actually, let's put the sink closer to the plumbing. And we're going to want a fridge. I found that uh, one fridge can service two cooking stoves. So we'll place down one, two, uh, three, four cooking stoves. We'll place a... Uh, fifth one there, another one there, and another fridge. Really going to pack in everything here. This is overkill for a prison of this size, but this just means I don't have to deal with it in the future, which is always nice. We're also going to need some more power, I'm seeing. Whoopsie daisies. Uh, yeah, they're going to have to spend a bit on that. Okay, there we go. Capacitors in. That power switch will have to move. Uh, let's, let's actually go ahead and dismantle that, because I want that over there, rather. So then we can fit our capacitors in there. Perfect. And put another electrical cable through it. Cool, cool, cool. All right, that should uh, keep our power usage nice and low. And then we're going to want to jump in another small pipe. Okay, sink is plumbed up and ready. Good. So what does the canteen need? Serving tables, uh, tables and benches. Okay, so serving table. Voila. 
Uh, we'll put down a couple of bins because they're all dirty. Ooh, let's just rotate those. There we go. And we're going to want some tables and benches. Now, I like to place these in kind of a, a sort of lengthwise, but the way I've set up this canteen, it's going to be easier to do it horizontally. And uh, there we go. And we'll need another one. Mm, we can probably fit another two. Yeah, right in there. Cool, cool. It's not going to be symmetrical, but it'll work. And don't worry, the prisoners will just walk over the benches for the most part. It shouldn't interrupt them too much. But just to be safe, we won't place a bench up there. I'm not sure how it interacts with the uh, serving table. Okay, canteen is done. And that means we have pretty much almost gotten... What are we missing here? Oh, it's too small. Shit. Well, how is it too small? Isn't that 5x5? Five five? That is 6x7. What's the problem? Okay, I guess we're just going to go ahead and delete these walls. They're, they're shitting in public. Alas, alas, I am my apologies. And then we might as well just remove the doors as well. We can use those again. Dismantle object. Uh, click. 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 Click, click. There we go. Uh, yeah. Is that fixed it? Oh, I see. It's because it deleted these tiles. So it wasn't measuring the full room size. Okay. Okay. No privacy for you guys. Sorry. Okay, now we need two guards and two cooks. Easy peasy. But before we do that, we're going to place down a staff room. Because without that, our staff will bitch like you cannot believe. So let's pause so we're not... Uh, actually, we're gaining money by running the game at this point, so that's fine. Let's just throw down a little staff room. We'll place that... Um, I will place that right over here. Yeah, right over there. Let's, let's just drop that slightly so it's symmetrical. Cool. We'll put a, a 9x9 staff room. And then that will have, of course, a corridor running there. And uh, a couple of these. There we go. Not that one. Nice. Okay, and then we're just going to want a staff door. Cancel that. We want a staff door there and a staff door there. And that should be sufficient. Perfect. Okay, that should uh, build now. Come on. Do the rest. Work it out. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's throw down our staff room. Voila. And we're just going to need a wide sofa for them to chill on. It's going to be nice and spartan for now. But we'll fill this out with cool stuff. Oh god, we're right out of money. Oh, come on, quickly. We need to place this so that we can get um, our staff room. Come on. Come on. Take over. Give me the money. I lost staff meals. Damn it. Oh, it's because they bought meals for my staff. Because I now have a staff room. Drat. Okay, can we not uh, hire anyone at the moment? That costs money, doesn't it? Yes. I have overspent slightly. Okay, we're just going to fast forward quickly to when this is ticked over and I've gotten some money. Okay, so what we've gone ahead and done is cancel our staff well-being initiative. And we're going to take on the administration center task. Just so that we can get the... Um, the, the, the money through it, because we need to uh, build two offices, hire a warden, and hire an accountant, and that we can do with 5,000. Pretty safely, I think. So let's go ahead and do that. 5,000 grant advance, very nice. I overreached everyone, I'm very sorry. We're going to need two offices, so we're going to place those here inside our um, cell block for now. And in fact, actually, let's place them. We can actually have them in here permanently. I'm not too fussed about that. We will move them out here eventually. But temporarily, we can go ahead and place them in here. There we go. And we are going to need office chair, desk chair, and filing cabinet. So office desk. In fact, this is not a bad idea so that we can get research going while we're waiting. Perfect. And then we'll just need one of these there. And another one of these there. And these guys, this will be their temporary office space until such time as... But, ah, there's our warden. Until such time as, uh, we just need to go ahead and unlock finance. Until such time as, uh, we actually go ahead and build ourselves an administrative block. So, there we go. She's unlocking finance. That's cool. We got a bit of extra cashola. So, we will go ahead and then, of course, place the drinks machine as we needed to here in the meantime. Nice. Nice. Just like that. Perfect. And, uh, yeah, I guess now we just sort of wait until that's done. But in the meantime, what we can do is go ahead and allow intake. Because we can accept, uh... Or oh, when will the next prisoner intake be? Um... If we say full capacity... Oh, okay, we'll just take in... Oh, and we, of course, are we going, we're going to be wanting only super max, super max prisoners only. Yes. And we'll get them in 13 hours. That's fine. 
That's fine, just fine, cool. And that'll give us $10,000 actually of fresh money that we can work with. Okay, while our um, warden is researching, we should have done that earlier on, to be honest. We can go ahead and look where we're going to be placing our cells. So, we know that a cell block needs to be yay big, right? So how many of these can we fit in? Okay, so we can get four along there, which isn't ideal. We can fit... Uh, yes, there we go. One, two, three along here. That's fine. And then, of course, there could be a potentially a fourth one over there. And then... Alright, so then these would just fit like this, really. Yes, and then do we have space for another set in here? How have I missed that? So we're going to need to expand our foundations by one block, two blocks. Yes. Oh God, that's expensive. It's all right though. As soon as we, uh, as soon as we've got this research, we'll make some more money in there. Actually, let's cancel that. Wait till that's researched and then place it down. <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves. But yeah, we need to expand this by one block so that our prisoners have uh, comfortably sized cells. And then we can actually, um, how many can we fit in here? We can carry on going, another one there, another one there, and then there's a corridor, that's cool. Another one there, another one there. Um, yeah, okay, so we can fit at least, what's that, six, seven, 11, there could be, f how many in here, four? Yeah, four in there, so that is six across, that's 10, 60, 19, and then another row over here of um, six. So that's about 25 to 30 prisoners. That's that's good. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. So let's go ahead and hire our staff accountant. Perfect. And uh, then we can also go ahead and take on that uh, staff well-being grant. There we go. And we're going to want to go ahead and hire guards. Perfect. And we've gone ahead and completed that grant just by hiring the guards. How silly is that? And we'll need two cooks for our kitchen. And we've gone ahead and completed the other grant. So I think with that, everybody, we're going to call this the end of the first episode. And in the next one, we will be taking on our first set of Supermax War Criminals. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. It wasn't particularly uh, riveting, but <laughs> you got to do the homework so that you can get everything set up. In fact, actually, now that I'm looking at it, I think we might even be able to fit yet another cell. Yes, we can. Right in there. Nice. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you did not enjoy the video, hit that dislike button. Uh, feedback is always good. Be sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.